Alright guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys 3 amazing text effects to make in After Effects. These text effects will definitely make the plain old text better looking, and I suggest you to try at least one of them. Without further ado, enjoy! Alright, so the first text effect is this really cool and shiny and bright text effect. So this can add like a really nice and like clean look to your boring old text and I think it looks really nice. So go ahead and create a new text by hitting Ctrl T on your keyboard and then just add any text on your screen. So then I'll be naming it text and then just make sure to centerize it by using the align tab like that. And then what you want to do next is duplicate this text layer by selecting it and hitting Ctrl D. And then what you want to do is go to the effects and presets tab and search CC radio fast blur once you find that just drag it onto the bottom text and then it will add this really cool and shiny effect however we're still not done and you can just keep it like this if you want and you'll be done for the first text effect but i like to just increase it quite a lot so my favorite amount is around like 90 but sometimes i even make it more and intense because it looks really nice and then all you want to do after that is select the text again hit t on your keyboard and then just control your opacity on how much you want so i like it around like 60 maybe so yeah so let's move on to the next one so our next effect is this really cool looking and floaty text effect and a lot of people have asked me how I make these floaty and wiggly text effects. So the first thing is obviously get the Sapphire plugin but then after that all you want to do is create a new text again and then just name it anything you want. I'll just name it text again and then align it to the center of your screen by using the align tab and then go ahead and effects in the presets tab. Go ahead and search S underscore shake and then at first when you apply it to the text layer it will lag a lot and it will add a lot of layers and weird things it might look very confusing but all you want to do to fix this is go to the effects controls tab scroll down a bit and see this reflect and reflect wrap x and y position all you want to do is select no for both of these and it should return to the normal position after that if you preview the text right now it looks really weird it's kind of like a shaky and weird effect and if you like that i don't really care you guys can just keep that but what you guys want to do next is go ahead and copy down my settings for the amplitude go ahead and select 0 0.250 and then for the frequency go ahead and choose one and then scroll down and go to tilt shake and then after that just increase the tilt shake tilt rend amp to like around the nine but obviously it would be different in different sizes and different lengths of the text so you guys can play around with that if you would like and let's preview our text so yeah i think it looks pretty cool it's really subtle but it's a nice touch to your text so let's move on to the next text all right so our next text is really cool and this is absolutely in one of my favorite text effects so go ahead and install the Saber plugin, which is completely free, and I'll be putting the link in the description below. Just go ahead and install that, and we can get started. So once you install the Saber plugin, go ahead and create a new text, obviously, and then name it anything you like. After that, align it to the center. We've done this multiple times. And after you do that, just go ahead and create a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y on your keyboard. And then really, any color wouldn't mind and any name wouldn't mind. Go ahead and click OK and then put it below text. After that, what you want to do is search Saber in the Effects and Presets tab and then go ahead and drag it on to the solid. So I'll be putting it right here. And then at first it will look really weird and it won't even work at all but then i'll be teaching you guys how to do that go ahead and click customize core and open up open it up in the effects controls tab after that go ahead and hit con core type saber to text layer after that for the text layer just choose none to text after that it will look again a bit weird but then we can change this again go ahead and scroll up again and then decrease the glow intensity after that just hide a text layer that's above the solid then what you want to do is to the preset tab just select it and hit anything you would like so i'll be using patronus for today's tutorial just because i really like how it looks and i really like how it's just really nice and then you guys can choose any color you would like and i'll be picking a nice light blue color 
and then you guys can control the glow bias the glow spread and choose any settings you would like i'll be using this setting just because it looks really nice and go ahead and preview what you got so it will take a few seconds, maybe even a few minutes to load because it's a pretty heavy plugin and it's a pretty difficult plugin to run for computers. However, once you export it, it will look really nice just like the one on my screen right now. And I really hope you guys enjoyed all these text layers. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something new today. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video if you enjoyed too. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!